Hey guys, and today's session is a dynamic session, so if it helps to have your football boots on, make sure you bring them down. Um, we've got some high repeat speed and some high speed running, and um, we want to make sure that we uh, feel well fueled, well hydrated, and have a good night's sleep going into this session. And pick the time of day that you feel your best uh, to complete this session. Uh, ideally, the body responds really well to routine. So if you are a morning person, stick to your morning sessions. If you prefer doing it at lunch, if you prefer doing it at night, um, just stick to that, that whatever works best for you over the Christmas program is going to get the best uh, training um, outcome. So we'll start with a two-minute jog, four-minute mobility. Make sure you do lots of hammy flicks and, and hip flexor work to get the, the uh, body ready for some high-speed running. Then we've got... Two, uh, four 50 meter strides the first two at 55 percent of max velocity so just practicing that forward lean really pump the arms and start to um, lift the feet off the ground getting into that stride type running and then with a walk recovery to 65 at 65 percent of max velocity so that's where we're practicing our sp sprinting technique then we're ready to go remember aerobic running should be really sustainable it should be consistent you should um, not aim to beat the times, but aim to get as close to the times as possible. So that's really, really important from a uh, training load point of view. Well, aerobic running, remember, is our slowest version of, of our running. We've got aerobic threshold repeat speed. So aerobic's the slowest of the three, and it should feel relatively easy. So it's just getting in some quality volume, um, and a repeat speed is where we more want to focus on the intensity. So for most of you guys, a 33 second 150 for the A group will, should feel pretty comfortable. Uh, and as we progress in the program, the rest, the, the speed won't change, but the rest periods will be less in between efforts. And that's how we'll uh, improve our aerobic capacity. So we've got six 150s. Aim to hit your targets as close as you can within one second or bang on. Uh, and know your group. And then you've got your 200s, four of those with a short recovery in between. So we've got 90 second recovery from the 150s to the 200s and then we have our um, 300s to finish a couple of those and then we'll have three minutes recovery you can feel free to have a kick or do some hands before we hit our repeat speed and here we want to focus on intensity so your first three steps are really really important get a good acceleration to build up to that stride pace feet should be coming well off the ground now um, with higher knees and you're really pushing that ground away from you um, so we're generating good force um, with our repeat speed and the targets should ensure that. So just simply by aiming to hit your targets um, or get as close to the targets as you can, even if it's one second faster or one second slower around that mark, ideally as close as you can. And then have the quality recovery because rest periods allow intensity. All right, so we want to make sure all six reps are, are consistent. We're not dropping off and and losing that intensity. So if you need more rest, take more rest because we prioritize the speed over the conditioning side of things at this stage. Six 60s and then six 110 meter repeat speed efforts. Then we've got some hard acceleration. So, so for here, it's all about um, getting to speed, uh, getting to your 85, 90% of peak speed as fast as possible. So it's strong starts, which is what football is all about. Um, so we want to make sure that we're really, really strong in our acceleration and we've got that breakaway speed. So for here, we've got four 20 meter efforts. You're going to break up two of them at 80 to 85% of your max velocity. So as fast as you can possibly run and then two at 85 to 90% of your peak speed. Make sure you have good rest between these efforts. And then we finish with a two minute run as far as you can. So that's a solid threshold effort and see how far you can run, ideally measure it and enter in your total meters. That's where you can check the, the feed and see how you compare against the rest of the group. So get competitive there and treat that like a test. We wanna try and really get into the hurt locker and grit the teeth and, and see what you can do. Well done guys, like always, if you have any questions, make sure to reach out by the Team Builder app or give me a call. Cheers.